switch, but I think there's definitely an advantage to listening this way than the way I listen. Oh, I yeah. I listen right off out the computer. Yeah. Right. You know, the, the computer monitor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But in the headphones, phones. it's easier to tell. Mm-hmm. Like, so. You can tell the sort of subtlety of the human yeah. voice. Yeah, so you guys yeah. at home listening and whatever, you can hear the difference. If you do, go to your computer and do this without listening through your headphones, you'll see it's a lot harder than than it than it seemed listening through through, through the headphones. It was hard. It wasn't easy. I had to to put my good ear in. <laughs> yeah, but still though, I mean, it's like even I think you would have missed definitely would have missed some if you listened oh, through yeah. the computer like I did this morning. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's another another one that's just that was fun, pretty awesome, and uh, that they are watching closely you know because they're they're worried they're worried this to this to date though it hasn't gotten out and there's not has not been used this technology has not been used to do any like Start you know a war yeah <laughs> right mm-hmm. right right or anything like that at this point so don't be late no more dd we're gonna they, replace uh... you oh lord <laughs> <laughs> right with the robot computer dd shit <laughs> i already see something like this coming out on um on like instagram you know how you can do like the cat voice and make yourself like the cat or like the guy voice? I did not know that, but I'm not surprised by this. Mm-hmm. You can you can make yourself like a guy if you're a girl. If you're a girl, you can make yourself a guy with a guy voice. Oh, okay. I've seen that app where the, people change gender. Yeah. And it has the voice. So it's not quite like a, I can't be Beyonce, but I think we're getting there. P.S. on that one. Huh. It seems like the male to female ones are always really good, but the female to male ones are oof, whack. Oh, I haven't had a chance. Yeah. To. So do, do the name do the do the names Kevin and Janet Phillips mean anything to you guys? I don't think so. Hmm. I'm Kevin not sure. No. Yeah. Stuff. Probably shouldn't. Except that they're probably the luckiest couple in the world. Oh, oh, I know who they are. Kevin and Janet Phillips are out of Massachusetts, and they have won the lottery a combined three what? times in like five years. Yeah. The husband won twice, and the wife won once recently, all for one million apiece. Jackpots. Oh hell. Three one they scratch <laughs> they like doing scratchers. Oh. So they were all one million dollar scratchers that they've won three times in five years. Oh. Three times. Three times. How lucky is that? Oh, that's like a business. That's not that's <laughs> not luck. That's odds. Have you ever won a lottery ticket? I have, but not for a big amount. Not for more than like five or ten bucks. Dina, you ever won on a lottery ticket? No. But I also don't play the big ones. I can only spend like play the dollar ones, which I think the max is like a thousand. I won five dollars on the Powerball. Really? Two weeks ago. Okay. That's it. That's, it. that's my see? big winnings. Wow. <laughs> I, I, mean, I think I won $10 on a scratcher once. See what I'm saying? I've it's won money as, out as there. As part of a group job mm-hmm. pool, we, we've, uh, we've won like, like 15, 20, something like that. Mm-hmm. That oh, we wow. just used to buy more, you know, <laughs> tickets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, so, you know, it don't make sense to divide that between, like, you know, you, you don't not even get your whole dollar back yeah. or whatever you put in. Three dollars, whatever it is, and usually more than a dollar to put in nowadays. I know That's people crazy. at my office bought a, the last time the Powerball was really, really high. Mm. A bunch of people in my office like did a pool. pool, and it's it's always funny to me because some of the people that's in the pool they make two point five million dollars a year, and I'm like, why don't you give have a lottery of your earnings, of your <laughs> own pay? If that's the case. Of course, they're, they're always the first ones are trying to get free sandwiches when we have a meeting. Exactly. <laughs> Any sandwiches left over? Yeah, they want to take those home. I, I always tell my, my coworkers, wherever I work, the answer is yes, always. Whenever you have a pool for a lottery, always put me in. Right. If I'm not here, put me in. I will pay you back. <laughs> right. Because y'all motherfuckers not going to retire and leave me here. Oh. Right. <laughs> I'm like, just That's no. the truth. Right. I'm like, I'm not going to be that one dude. Oh, hell no. And I will. I will. Any up to three to five dollars, whatever it is, for the pot. Because mm-hmm. that's all. It, that's all it is. Three to five dollars, whatever. You to, know, that's yeah, me. Yeah, to get back the million. And you know, and it's not like it's every month. It's a couple times a year yeah. right, when it gets real big. So yeah. yeah, automatically put Dino down all the time. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I always tell him that, and I always re- reiterate because I, you know, I want them winning while I'm out one day. Right. You know, even if I'm not here, yeah, I'm gonna pay you. Me, I will pay you. Mm-hmm. My mom, boy, y'all know my mom. My mom lives in Vegas now, so she can't play the California lottery. But she's from here, and so when she was here, that's she played the lottery faithfully. If she came home from work early and forgot to play, she would jump up out her sleep at six fifty seven and run to the store and, and then play the number six fifty seven. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Right. My mama would come and wake me out of my sleep. And she would be like, give me some numbers. <laughs> I would be like, what? 
yes give me five numbers right now Dee Dee, right now <laughs> I'm like oh my god seven nineteen thirty six we better win because you just woke me up and now that she's not in california anymore she will call me like when the pot gets really high mm-hmm. she will call me give me numbers send me money so that i can play for her or she will drive to the state line mm-hmm and play your mama need a dream book she needs everything she need help <laughs> tell her to get a dream book she like needs help Sanford. right <laughs> i want her to win because this all this can't be for nothing my whole life is invested in the lotto so i need that, to you ever see that sanford and son when fred won the lottery because he had a dream he had like a dream and it was something like like a hubcap falls off in the middle of the street that's 1024 wow <laughs> 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 oh. i'm gonna get a dream book just because. Keep the tradition alive. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to get in a little TV talk. TV this is sad TV news, though. Hmm. This is sad. Jason Mitchell, a young rising star whose star has now been extinguished. Yeah. You got might know Jason Mitchell from uh, Straight Outta Compton. Mm. The Shy. The Shy. He was, he also did that. He was in a video game, too. Like, a really big video game he he's did. He's in a lot lately. Yeah. yeah he's he, everywhere lately. He was in this movie. He was starred in this movie called Tyrell, and he needed his ass beat for that one. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> that movie was horrible. Okay. That well, was a horrible it. movie. Like, all this stuff that's happening to him now, it should happen when he did Tyrell. <laughs> <laughs> was it before all this, or this was recent? What, what? Tyrell. Tyrell was recent. Oh, that's, shit. I yeah, that just came out, like, last year or something. Damn. Well, tell the what, what happened. Know? What happened was he was, okay, so news got out about, uh, initially it was, uh, it was said that he got into, uh, he got in trouble for some offset, you know, um, inappropriate behavior. So meaning not at work. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, not at Mm -hmm. work, offset inappropriate behavior, um, with, uh, with, with a female. That Mm -hmm. was, that was the initial report. That was all that was said at first. And then it was said that it got to, I believe it was show. I think it was network net Netflix. I think Netflix found out about it first, and then he was working on a movie, a Netflix movie. He got dropped from that, mm-hmm. and then I believe his his talent agencies and managers found out about it. They dropped him, mm-hmm. and then it got to the shy, and they dropped his option for season three, three. coming mm-hmm. up, and then you know uh, more reports start coming out. Come to find out that it was his. Uh, co-star on the shy, the one girl who played the 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 actress who plays his girlfriend. Um, then they were saying they also were saying that initially that it was some sort of uh, you know situation that had been resolved. But then some more reports start coming out that it was uh, well. You know what? I have I have a, I have a video. Let's go ahead and roll clip. Straight out of Compton star Jason Mitchell has been terminated by his agent and manager and dropped from Showtime's The Shy and an upcoming Netflix film Desperados amid multiple allegations of misconduct. A source claims that Mitchell's The Shy co-star Tiffany Boone were among several actresses on the series who had issues with Mitchell. The actress allegedly felt so unsafe with her co-star that at times her fiancé came to set when she shot scenes with him. Boone declined to comment. The source also says the actress had informed producers at Fox 21 that she could no longer work with Mitchell. At her request, they released her to pursue other projects before finally concluding that Mitchell had to go. Other actresses on the series were also said to have had problems with Mitchell. The actor was also replaced in the upcoming Netflix project Desperados by Lamorne Morris of New Girl fame. A source close to the film says producers received specific information which was investigated immediately and thoroughly and dealt with as quickly as possible. A source with knowledge of the situation says Mitchell's agency, UTA, had also made a very quick decision to drop the actor based on multiple allegations of misconduct. Mitchell, 32, was considered a rising star having won accolades for his performance in 2015 straight out of Compton. He also appeared in in Mudbound and Detroit, and was also a series regular on the Lena Waithe created Showtime series. For more on the story, head to thr.com. And until next time, for the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy. I forgot about Mudbound. He was mm-hmm. good in that. He was, yeah. So, props to Lamorne. That's my friend. So I'm glad he. Got oh the yeah, well he got picked up. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, yeah, you know, no shade, but I I think he was a little overrated. Really? I like him. Yeah, I think he was. I think he was decent, but. I don't. I didn't see him becoming like the next big thing, or he wasn't like Michael B. Jordan, or I, I get. You know, I, I don't even like. I don't care for him that, like that. that much. I don't, care for, I don't care for Michael B. Jordan that much. Are I you think, kidding? Oh, Michael yeah, B. Jordan is all I that. I think that he can have my baby. 
He was the best oh, thing he's cute. in Black Panther. He was better than Black Panther. <laughs> I like Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, I don't dislike well, you know, I've been a, him. I've been, a, I've been a fan of his since he was yeah. Wallace. He's the, he's the he's since the, he was a little kid. He's the black Regina King to me. Yeah, or the male <laughs> Regina King, <laughs> right? Like 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 he's been underrated. Around, he's been kicking it forever. Always he just underrated. I don't think he is underrated at this point. I think I don't think Hollywood. he's underrated. Well, at this point, not, at not, this not, point like, now, he's valuable. At I don't, this I don't point, think he was ever underrated. It was just a matter of him paying dues. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he, he was young. He had to come up. Yeah. And they, he, they don't write that. They weren't even writing that many roles for black young black men. And yeah. he just sort of, hey, like. But then he turned in that uh, the dude that directed Black Panther. What was that movie about Fruit Fruitvale? Yeah, mm-hmm. Fruitvale Station. Fruitvale Station. Yes, yeah, things like that. And yeah. like he just turned in performances like that. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Creed and you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at him. And even his TV no. choices were were very good. He's also, I was gonna say, like not only he, he made some very smart decisions career wise. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was on The Wire. You know, he was on um, Friday Night Lights. You know, those were some very you know good roles, very key roles, and very good shows. I'm just you amazed know, by Jason so. Mitchell because Jason but. Mitchell seemed like he was on this great trajectory that yeah, yes. he was. Be yes. a really big star. Yeah. Yes. Um, right now he's just kind of a face that you're like, oh, it's that dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But he was on his he's on that trajectory. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, just definitely. Keep his he hands was, off the was, ladies yeah. at work. I know. No. And, and, and they said this was uh, there was a, a incident a few years back. Yeah. That he got in trouble for. So it's, the first it's, time. it's real vague what what exactly he's doing, but whatever it is, it's it definitely doesn't seem to be okay. Yeah, and he's been doing it a lot. So. And everybody's trying to separate uh, themselves from him at uh, this point. Potential line stepper. So it, Charlie Murphy says. Yeah, right. It makes me wonder: like, is there something else that's going to come come out? Because everybody's Possibly. trying to separate themselves from him so quickly. It's just like, well, what happened? What did he really, really do? And right. that's what has me curious: like, did he? Um, assault someone and you know maybe they're just trying to deal with it well, internally uh, in this day and age that we in right now the me too generation mm-hmm. you you got to be careful like the smallest exactly. infraction can exactly. get you messed up but if you're like i mean if he's like i don't know what he did but if he's just calling her at her house at, you know when they're not on, at work and saying like baby don't you want to go out with me you know i think you're so beautiful blah blah and she's like i'm not interested in you i just want to keep professional but he keeps doing it that's sexual harassment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, definitely. I feel definitely. like I feel like at this point, because it's clearly seems to be habitual. Mm-hmm. You know, it is repetitive. It's you know more than one person. And, and yeah, so it might be one of those things where it's like, okay, that's just the last straw. Right. You know, because this is not the first True. time. Clearly, True. what we can tell, and he has a history of it. He's got you know an incident in the past that was you know seemed to be more than a minor situation. I you know they might be like, okay, this is the last straw. It's time to cut bait. Because mm-hmm. this dude going to work clearly he's gonna can't, drag us down. He gonna, he, yeah, he clearly can't get his shit together. You know, all this good fortune he's having, whatever, and he's still having this problem. Mm-hmm. Like he, he, you know, he can't control himself or whatever it is. Like it's time to cut bait before it's too late. You need to masturbate, yeah. Mr. Mitchell. So <laughs> get your uh, get get you in your to, contract. I need a masturbation station. Thank you. So I can I leave the ladies alone. Station. Okay. <laughs> Go get one of them girls from Compton. They'll be delighted. For real, straight up. Straight out of, they'll yeah. be delighted. Char, thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll drop her off. Oh my goodness! Oh. I will drop her off. Oh, I'm Lord. telling you. I don't think he. I don't. I, <laughs> he not he ready. can't handle that. He not nah, he, 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 crazy. Don't, he don't want that smoke. <laughs> crazy, he don't want that smoke. <laughs> crazy B gets crazy. I think that they will go together uh, just fine. I think she. Will I think eat that him will up. work. <laughs> she will eat him and spit him out. And they will have probably great fiery passionate sex, and he will go back to set and kill it. No. <laughs> no, he, and he, she he'd be... go out with Char and that nigga be hollering, me too. Me too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I understand now. I see what I've been doing wrong. Well, that's probably a I good thing. I understand. I get it. That's probably a good thing then. He could get it. a taste of his own medicine. Maybe she should. Maybe that's, maybe that's her niche. <laughs> <laughs> Shar, celebrity sex rehabilitator. <laughs> no, never mind. Uh, boy. <sighs> so, for since it is Memorial Day and all, it sure is. Oh, happy Memorial Day weekend, everybody! Happy You're Memorial. not supposed to say Happy Memorial Day. Oh yeah, that's true. I, well, yeah, what you I supposed so. to say? Well, just, it's just it's not a happy event. You remember you remember in the dead. It's, oh. it's not a happy event, but we show the hell be barbecuing and, and <laughs> okay. partying. Hello, you know what I'm saying? Celebrating like, that day off of work. Yeah, that ain't ain't that what we do? Hello. Well, you say Happy Brown Liquor Day if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool uh, with that. I'm not happy that your loved ones are passed, but you know, mm. yeah. No, it's a vet at my work told me that. that oh about, wow, that bothers him. I I I, I get it. I get it. Sort of. 
But at the same time, I guess he. I just don't know what else to really say. probably really upset when he drive by all them barbecues. Mm. I just well, so what am I supposed to say to him? You know, I don't think he's supposed to say anything. I just supposed to remember the dead. 